Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be going through some of the Lego Star Wars sets that are retiring soon. Uh, we'll be going through a couple of the other themes, but uh, mainly focusing on the Star Wars sets. Then I'll be showing you guys some good options to buy these sets on sale, some good sources that you can do to purchase the sets before they retire. Most of these sets are predicted to retire uh, around the end of the year, so now is generally a pretty good time, closer to the end of the year, to pick up some Lego Star Wars sets and other Lego sets on sale to help earn that uh, retirement bounce money right after the set retires, or the longer you wait, generally the more money you'll make from the set. Has not, of course, not the case with every set, but generally that's a trend that you can follow. So we will be going to, oh, there they are. Okay, so we'll skip right to the Star Wars sets. So we have the Millennium Falcon. This one, I believe, is on sale on Amazon. If I remember correctly, it was somewhere here. Yes, it is. <coughs> so it is... Uh, it's not the best version of the Millennium Falcon we've seen. It's uh, still on sale though, so it may end up doing well. And generally, LEGO Millennium Falcons are pretty safe, reliable investments. Everybody likes collecting the Millennium Falcon sets, so even if it's retired, people are still willing to pay premium for the set. And uh, so that may be, a, may be a good investment. It looks like it's on sale too. Let's get a little more detail on that. Uh, looks like it is currently about 20 or exactly 20% off. So that's a pretty good benchmark to buy Lego sets from to the 20% is a good percentage off to maximize your return on investment. Of course, the more the merrier, but that's pretty good there. And we have the Cantina set. I wasn't able to find the on sale or the set version of the set on Amazon. There's probably some good options just in uh, maybe Target and uh, Walmart and some other uh, retail stores that may end up having that set on sale. I've seen a couple or I've heard of a couple of good options, but I haven't seen anything on Amazon. Uh, there might be some good eBay options. And then uh, next up we get to the at, -AT. This is a UCS set. So generally those do pretty well as Lego investments. They're quite pricey though. Very, very high barrier to entry. We have an $850 set. Then we have another UCS set, a little bit more manageable on the price. We have a, the Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder which goes for $240. And then we have the Boba Fett Starship Microfighter, goes for 10. Uh, this set is on sale by, I believe, something like 30, oh yeah, um, almost, wow, yeah, that's a pretty great deal, almost 40%. So if you're interested, could be good, plus it's a really cheap set. So if you wanted to buy one or two of them, if you're just getting started with Lego investing, could do well. This might generally, Lego Boba Fett sets do pretty well, but it could be a warning sign that it's this much percentage off, that it's this much on sale. Uh, sometimes that means there won't be as much demand for it after the set retires, which means the price won't go up or will remain at retail price. But even if you just got it to retail price, after accounting for probably about a 13, 12 to 13 percent fee from eBay for selling the set, you'd still make a decent profit. Obviously, it'd be better if the set went up in value past its retail price, but still, pretty good return there. We have a couple other sets: the Clone Commander Cody set and um, the Princess Leia one. Ender Speed Chase. I think this one could do quite well. The Ender Speed Chase. I believe this one, and it looks like it's also on sale. Um, I think I remember seeing it, if we can find it. Uh, there it is, yep. So the Lego Speed Ender, Ender Chase set, Speeder Chase set, has the two bikes there, has some good minifigures in the set. And uh, the set will probably do pretty well. It's a 40th year anniversary of Return of the Jedi. So generally those kind of sets that, like the 20th anniversary Lego Star Wars sets did quite well. So generally if there's like a, some level of significance behind the set, that can help increase its value. And it is 23% off, which is pretty great way to uh, get some Lego Star Wars sets. So those are all of the Lego Star Wars sets, but uh, some of these are gonna do pretty well as Lego investments. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.